What's up everybody and welcome to the December edition of Picking Up the Crap. My look at the hardware and software sales for the North American video game market. I'm your host, the one and only Joe Dion, and here are your MPD December 2012 hardware numbers. I'm going to do a little different this week due to not having all the numbers. I'm going to go by company and also tell you which console was the best selling in each category home console or handheld. Microsoft comes in with the Xbox 360 as the best selling home console for December 2012 with 1.4 million Xboxes sold. Next, Nintendo has three consoles to report. In the home console market, the Nintendo Wii sells 475,000 systems. The Wii U sells 460,000 systems. And the number one handheld device, the Nintendo 3DS, sells 1.25 million systems in the month of December. On the Sony side, none of these numbers are official because Sony failed to release their NPD numbers. But estimates say the PS3 sold anywhere between 650,000 systems or as low as 600,000 systems. The PlayStation Vita estimates are anywhere as high as 250,000 systems and anywhere as low as 200,000 systems and finally the PlayStation Portable sold under 50,000 systems for the month of December. So in the home console market the Xbox 360 comes in at number one selling double the second place system the PS3 with third coming in the Nintendo Wii and fourth coming in the Nintendo Wii U. Once again, due to the lack of information provided for the NPD software side of the video game market, I can only tell you in order the top 10 games sold in December, but not the numbers sold. The number one selling game across all platforms for December 2012 NPD was Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Number two, Just Dance 4. Number three, Halo 4. Number four, Assassin's Creed 3. Number 5, Madden NFL 13. Number 6, Far Cry 3. Number 7, NBA 2K13. Number 8, Skylanders Giants. Number 9, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Number 10, FIFA Soccer 13. It's now time to go public. This is the segment where I take a closer look at the gaming industry. I analyze the NPD numbers closely, or I give my opinion on the current happenings in the gaming world. Subject 1. What do you make of the launch of the Wii U and its first holiday season? Was it successful or was it a bomb? First and foremost, it depends on the angle you're using, the perspective you're looking at the launch from. If you're judging it by Wii standards, then no, it wasn't as successful as the launch of the Wii. If you're judging it by the standards of the launch of the PS3 or Xbox 360, then yes, it was successful. The problem is, if you're going by those standards, there are different variables and situations that affected those launches. Of course, it won't launch as much as the Wii. The Wii, in some cases, was $100 cheaper. At the same time, the Wii U was cheaper than the PS3 when it launched six years ago. So, of course, it should sell better. So, common sense says we can only take the numbers we have and then put them in perspective with the current state of the gaming industry. So, the launch of the Wii U was a moderate success. Nowhere near on the same level as the Wii or the launch of the PS2. But at the same time, nowhere near a failure or a bomb. But there's potential for both. It depends on the current state of Nintendo's strategy. Is potential to become very successful? Or potential to become a bomb. Subject matter two. Software sales are down again. And it's getting worse. And this is across the board. On a new console like the Wii U. Or old consoles like the PS3 and Xbox. Even on the 3DS. People are not buying games. And I can't figure out why. Are these games that much worse than previous games? Are these bad games being released on the market? I don't know. Maybe people are not playing games anymore. Maybe people are just not want to buy games because they don't feel like playing them anymore. Why buy something you're not going to play? 
most people are under this notion that people are waiting for the next consoles. They're waiting for new experiences. Well, I'm sorry. I'm here to tell you, if the next systems are going to be about just a graphic upgrades and power upgrades, you're not going to get new experiences. You're going to get the same games you've been getting, just prettier, with maybe more things they can do within the games. But the gameplay is going to be exactly the same. And so, if you didn't buy Black Ops 2, odds are you're not going to buy Black Ops 3 when it comes out. Because it's going to be the same game, just better looking to a certain degree and maybe faster. And this even affects consoles like the Wii U that are trying to do new things when it comes to gameplay. The Wii U gamepad is bringing an evolution, a innovation to gaming. But even people are not buying those games. Now I understand some of those games are just ports, different add-ons. But the games that are using the controller for the first time, like Zombie U, people are overlooking. Maybe because they lack features like online mode. Maybe they want a longer experience. I'm not quite sure. But still, overall, people are just not buying games. And until we figure out this problem, it's going to continue on, even to the next generation of consoles. Now, here's the final subject in going public. And it goes back to game development and software. We're coming to a state now, in the future, where we're only going to have big, big, extremely big budget games and your smaller handheld iOS type games. The industry as it is currently now cannot support the middle range games anymore because you can see people are not buying games. Games are bombing left and right. If you, you'll be you'll be retarded, you'll be re stupid to spend a lot of money on these games and you're not gonna get any returns in them. For example, Epic Mickey 2 released across all th major platforms. On the Wii alone, the first game so over a million copies. In the US market when it first released. On four platforms, 360, PS3, Wii, and Wii U, the rumor is the game only sold 270,000 copies during December, during its launch. At this rate, this game is nowhere is nowhere gonna meet its expectations or the budget it had for it. So this game is a bomb. We, won't, we, we probably won't see any more games from Warren Spectre again because of this. And that's a problem. The market as it is cannot, there's no place for these kind of games anymore. Because people are just not buying them. A company like Sony, which has spent a lot of money on game development this generation. I mean, I can't lie. They've created a lot of games this generation. A lot of sequels. But look at all those games and look at what they've done. PlayStation All-Stars, even though supposedly it's already been green-lighted for a sequel. If it wasn't Sony, a company that had major money to back them, it wouldn't receive a sequel because that game is a bomb. It's failed. So, I just want to bring this to the attention of people now. So in the future, when they're wondering why there's only games like Call of Duty, Madden, the Halos, the Marios, or their small budget games only on the handhelds, and you're wondering, where's my middle of the range game? Where's that new experience I'm trying to play for the first time? Where's my uh, San Goku Bosa my um, army of two, things like that. Because they're not major games and they're not making major numbers, they're not gonna be developed anymore. And if you don't believe me, look at it this way. How can sales be down of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Halo 4 when the user base that they're released on is a lot bigger than previous games? There are more consoles, or more people with the consoles to buy games Yet, the more people are not buying the games, so we're not having more sales. There's a decline there. People are, are drawing back. People are not buying stuff, and there's a reason for that. We got to figure out what that reason is and change it. Because if games like Halo and Call of Duty are not having a huge number as they previously had, what can you expect for those smaller games, those mid-range games? They'll lose sales too, and they'll lose even more sales. This is the one. I'll see you guys next month. In a new episode of Picking Up the Crap. Take care. Don't